Welcome to Control Chart Interpretation. Simplifying SPC and Statistical Analysis with SPC Insights with Dr. Phil. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how you interpret a control chart. Because if you interpret a control chart correctly, the process will tell you if everything's okay or if you have a problem in your process. So we're going to look at the different rules for interpreting a control chart. That's the way you listen to a control chart. And we'll talk a little bit about the basics and interpreting control charts. Dr. Deming said you should not tamper with the process. And to avoid that, you have to know what your control chart's telling you. So a control chart is the way the process communicates with you. The control chart will tell you one of two things. If everything's okay and you just have common causes of variation present, or if there's a problem, a special cause of variation. Here's an example of a control chart on driving to work. And you have a flat tire one day. That's a special cause of variation. And the common cause is defined by the control range. So what are the control chart basics? The first thing you do is you collect data and you plot the data over time. Then you calculate the average and plot the average on the control chart. Then you're going to calculate the control limits and plot those. The upper control limit, UCL, is the largest value you would expect if you just have common causes of variation present. The lower control limit is the smallest value you would expect if you just have common causes of variation present. So, what is this control chart trying to tell you about your process? It will tell you a lot if you just listen. And all you have to do is listen. The control chart will tell you. So what's an in-control process look like? It's going to look something similar to this. You're going to have most points near the middle, the average, a few points near the control limits, the upper control limit, and the lower control limit and you're going to not have any points beyond them and no patterns. So, is your process out of control? We're going to do some basic tests to determine that. Points beyond the limits, the zone test, stratification, mixture, over control, and the rule of seven test. So we'll start with points beyond the control limits. Anytime you have a point that's above the upper control limit, that's a special cause of variation being present, an out of control point. And or if you have a point below the lower control limit, that's an out of control point too. The next test are the zone test, and you have to prepare the chart for that. And you do that by, by dividing the chart into zones. There are zones above and zones below the average. The three zones above are called A, B, and C. The three zones below are A, B, and C. C is closest to the average, A is closest to the control limits. And we have tests for each of those zones. We'll start with zone A. Here's a test for zone A. If you have two out of three consecutive points in zone A or beyond, you have a special cause of variation, not a control situation. And there are two examples here. Now look at the test for zone B. Here you're going to consider that you have an out of control situation if you have four out of five consecutive points in zone B or beyond, as you can see in these two examples. And the test for zone C. If you have seven or more consecutive points in zone C or beyond, it is a special cause of variation present. You should note that some references use seven, others eight or nine points for this test. Now here's a test for stratification. In this test, you're applying it to the entire chart. The out of control situation is going to occur if you have 15 or more points in a row in zone C and none beyond on either side of the average. So all you have is 15 points in a row in zone C, none be out of zone C. Then you have a test for a mixture. And this applies to the entire chart as well. You have an out of control situation if you have eight or more consecutive points on both sides of the average with no points in zone C. So there are none in C on this test for a mixture. Then we have a test for over control. If you have 14 consecutive points alternating up or down, you have an out of control situation. And this applies to the entire chart as well.
And finally, we have a simple test called the Rule of Seven test, which is for trending. So if you have seven points in a row trending up, you have a special cause of variation. If you have seven points in a row trending down, you have a special cause of variation present. So here's a summary. Control charts are the way to communicate with your process, and you have to interpret your control chart to do that. And we did the out of control test. And if you're out of control, you need to find out why. Something's wrong in your process. Thanks for watching the video.